Welcome to our channel, where history comes alive. In this captivating video, we delve into the untold story of an imaginary officers aboard the legendary Titanic. Join us as we embark on a journey of bravery, resilience, and the pursuit of duty. These fictional characters are products of imagination by AI, but their stories are inspired by the countless officers who sailed the Titanic. Through them, we honor the courage, sacrifice, and resilience of those brave souls who faced unimaginable challenges. I stood on the deck of the magnificent Titanic, the salty air filling my lungs. As a captain, I had weathered countless voyages, and now, I found myself at the helm of this grand vessel. The weight of responsibility rested upon my shoulders, and I embraced it with both reverence and determination. As I stood on the Titanic, gazing out at the endless expanse of the Atlantic, I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and gratitude. This ship, this engineering marvel, was the culmination of years of progress and innovation. It was a testament to the indomitable spirit of human endeavor, and I was honored to be the one entrusted with its command. The sailors who stood beside me, their unwavering loyalty and dedication, were the heart and soul of the ship. I knew each of them by name, their stories, their dreams, and their fears. As the first officer of the Titanic, my duty was more than a mere job, it was a calling that I embraced with unwavering commitment. The day I stepped foot on the Titanic was a culmination of years of hard work and dedication. That fateful night, when the iceberg loomed in our path, everything changed. The calm waters turned treacherous, and chaos ensued. It was a defining moment that tested my mettle, challenging me to rise above the panic and fear that gripped the ship. As I reflect on those fateful days and nights aboard the Titanic, I am grateful for the love I found amidst the turmoil. Elizabeth will forever be my guiding light, the one who taught me the true meaning of love and resilience. Our love story, born amidst the chaos of the Titanic, served as a reminder that love can flourish even in the most unlikely of circumstances. Captain Edward J. Smith was the commanding officer of the RMS Titanic. With decades of experience at sea, he was known for his professionalism and calm demeanor. Captain Smith was highly respected by both his crew and passengers for his leadership skills and extensive knowledge of navigation. He had an impeccable record and was considered one of the most experienced and trusted captains of the White Star Line. Unfortunately, Captain Smith went down with the Titanic when it sank. Chief Officer Henry D. Wilde served as the highest-ranking officer under Captain Smith. He was responsible for overseeing the deck operations and ensuring the safety of the ship. Known for his strong leadership and dedication, Wilde was well-versed in all aspects of maritime operations. Tragically, Chief Officer Wilde also perished in the sinking of the Titanic. First Officer William M. Murdoch played a crucial role in the navigation and overall management of the ship. As the highest-ranking officer on the bridge, he was responsible for making key decisions regarding the ship's course and safety protocols. Murdoch was known for his experience and quick thinking, and he made valiant efforts to save as many lives as possible during the disaster. Unfortunately, he also lost his life during the sinking. Second officer Charles H. Lightoller was an experienced seaman who served as the second-in-command on the Titanic. He had a strong background in navigation and played a vital role in overseeing the lifeboat operations during the evacuation. Lightoller's bravery and resourcefulness contributed to the survival of many passengers. He managed to survive the sinking by clinging to an overturned lifeboat. Third Officer Herbert J. Pittman was responsible for navigation and lifeboat duties. He played a critical role in overseeing the loading and launching of lifeboats, ensuring the safety of passengers during the evacuation. Pittman's quick thinking and leadership skills helped in the rescue efforts. He survived the sinking by taking charge of lifeboat number 5 and was later praised for his actions. Fourth Officer Joseph G. Boxall was also responsible for navigation and lifeboat operations. He played a significant role in determining the Titanic's position and assisting with the launch of lifeboats. Boxall's navigation skills were instrumental in calculating the ship's distress position and communicating with other vessels for rescue efforts. He survived the sinking by boarding lifeboat number two. Fifth Officer Harold G. Lowe was another crucial figure in the lifeboat operations. He played an active role in launching lifeboats, rescuing survivors, 
and maintaining order during the chaos, Lowe's efforts in returning to the scene of the sinking to search for survivors. Sixth Officer James P. Moody served as a junior officer on the Titanic and assisted in bridge operations. He worked closely with the senior officers, carrying out various duties assigned to him. Moody's actions during the sinking remain somewhat unknown, as there are conflicting reports about his whereabouts and fate. It is believed that he likely perished in the disaster. Chief Engineer Joseph Bell was responsible for the smooth operation of the ship's engines and machinery. He oversaw the engineering crew and ensured the proper functioning of all systems. Bell's technical expertise and leadership skills were crucial in maintaining the ship's propulsion. Unfortunately, he was among the engineers who perished in the sinking. Assistant Chief Engineer William H. Parr provided support to the chief engineer and was responsible for assisting in the management. Today, their stories continue to inspire us, reminding us of the fragility of life and the strength of the human spirit. Through their sacrifice and heroism, we honor the memory of all those who sailed aboard the Titanic. Until next time, may their stories inspire you to embrace the courage and resilience within your own heart. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.